after snubbing committee summons three times. The minister, Mary Greta Kitutu, faced the probe committee and was put on spot to explain how Karamoja iron sheets found their way to Manafa districts and especially in the hands of the minister's relatives, including her mother. But the minister pleaded ignorance and declined to divulge as expected. There were iron sheets claimed to be sold by your relatives from the time we started our investigation. It has remained an allegation without any statement made to claim that some of your relatives were selling uh, some of these iron seeds. So we, we need to get it from you. Like I said, I don't know. Or those who are selling, that one I don't know. As the committee chairperson, Jessica Ababiku insisted on the list of other top government officials who received a share of the iron sheets. The minister referred the committee to the OPM storekeeper for details which annoyed legislators. It was you directing on how iron sheets were supposed to be donated, the one for last year. It was you who instructed for the donations of this year. You need to own them. You need to tell us why did you prefer to donate an item that was clearly earmarked for particular people, the Karasunas of Karamoja, but you donated to the wrong people. The Presidential Affairs Committee of Parliament, which is probing mismanagement of Karamoja relief, was later forced to hand over the embattled Minister Kitutu to police after declining to be put on oath by the committee. If, if you are not ready to do it, please, we shall not continue with you, but CID, we, we request that uh, she make statement on behalf of this committee on the following. One, on the iron seats taken to Manafa. She was escorted out of the committee by police CIDs attached to parliament to the parliamentary police post to record statements and she left parliament in custody of police. Where, where is the lady CID? Download the app on App Store or Google Play Store now. Vision Digital Experience, the future of media.